It's Fairgo Friday and I'm here at Tom Fisher House with Jason Clare, the Shadow Minister for Housing and Homelessness. And because I'm here with Jason Clare, it's Clare Go Friday. <laughs> um, we've been spending the afternoon talking to people across the Perth electorate about the importance of investing in housing for our most vulnerable Australians. Uh, we've been here with the people at St Vinnie's talking about the really important service they offer, making sure that people who do not have somewhere to call home can come for up to seven nights, get some respite, and hopefully start to access some of those services that allow them to get on the path back towards what every Australian should be allowed to have, which is a secure home. Jason, yeah. I might throw over you for some of your impressions. And, Thanks, uh, mate. Yeah, well, um, St Vincent's is a fantastic organisation. They do great work right across the country, and it's great to be here today at Tom Fisher House seeing the work they're doing, helping people who've been homeless here in Perth for a, a long, long time to get back on their feet, get a bed for a week, and find an opportunity just to, to, to get ready to get back out there. Yeah. Um, and you know, for people that have never experienced sleeping in a park, sleeping on their own, s sleeping without the security of a family around you uh, or a door that's locked, you, you just can't imagine how traumatic, how difficult that is. But we can do something about it. Um, unfortunately, for all of the great work that organisations like Vinnie's are doing right across the country, the number of people that will be homeless tonight is greater than ever before. Um, and it's not just, um, you know, the, the, the stereotype of an old bloke with a bottle of grog and a brown paper bag uh, sitting on a park bench. Almost half the people that are homeless in Australia are mums and kids, too often fleeing domestic violence. One in 10 homeless people is a veteran, somebody that served our country in the Army, Navy or Air Force. And the fastest growing group of people that are homeless are older women between the age of uh, I think it's sort of 55 and 64. Mm -hmm. So we've got to ask ourselves, what can we do to turn this around? That's why I'm here in Perth. Thanks, Pat, for showing me around mm -hmm. today so I could talk to the organisations that are doing great work and seeing what work we can do in Canberra to make a difference, invest in the things that are going to help our fellow Australians. It is a huge challenge. It's something where there's, there is no simple fix, but there are so many organisations like Vinnie's doing great work. Yeah. It's great to be able to sort of pop in, say a huge thank you to them for the work they do. And thank you for spending so much time in WA, listening to so many of our fantastic services, uh, trying to make a difference to individuals one at a time. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Thank you.